Energy Media readers, we're going to be talking to Professor Bob Schultz today of the Haskane School of Business about the Prosper Petroleum Oil Sands Mine, which is uh, its approval has made headlines the last couple of days. So welcome to the interview, Bob. Good afternoon. So we're going to answer three questions. And the first one is, uh, so why this project has been delayed 19 months. It's in the the, the uh, Alberta government has to uh, provide the approval. Why, why is it waited 19 months to make a decision? Well, there's two or three reasons. One is because the Alberta energy regulator has changed with the provincial government. Provincial government's changes, so that's one. Second is that if I, I looked at the investment uh, driven part, part of this money comes from Czechoslovakia. There's a international treaty of some sort and somehow that's got tangled up with uh, a normal other decision, which you typically wouldn't have. The third part is uh, the provincial government, uh, looking at 10,000 barrel uh, per oil oil sands project, is, is focused on oil sands pipelines rather than a 10,000 barrel, uh, barrel project. So I think all those reasons are factoring in why there's a delay. Now, on the latter point, um, it seems like by the time this oil sands project would go ahead, we're likely to have Trans Mountain expansion in place. We're likely to have Line 3 replacement completed and so on. We would probably have the capacity, and it's only 10,000 barrels. I know that sounds – but uh, so it seems – that seems like a – I don't know. Uh, is that a, a, maybe a minor point in terms of the government's decision-making? I think we were at this point 24 months ago. All those things were going to go ahead 24 months ago, and it hasn't happened yet. And so we're having blockades right here today, so that hasn't been decided. So I think uh, if I were the provincial government, I'd probably wait until some of those things actually got decided because, who knows, this blockade in the east may be a forerunner, as uh, the, the premier has announced, uh, for Trans Mountain. Fair enough. So, in your opinion, what will the government do? <laughs> well, you got yes, you have uh, go ahead, you have yes with conditions, and you have no. Uh, and so my guess is it'll be maybe with conditions. So I, I guess from the, the government's point of view, they don't want to say no to investment. That sends a, the bad signal. But at least with delay, you could kind of put your decision off until things are a little bit better. Uh, that's, that's usually the way governments do it, right? Kick the, the can down the street? Well, remember that there's been increasing concern about uh, environmental issues, increasing concern about CO2, climate change, all of which I have a different view somehow that, that many of your readers would have. But at the end of the day, a lot of these things are unsettled. And so the government, by having a delay, may actually be doing the company a favor. Gotcha. Well, third question, where do we go from here? Uh, well, we wait and see whether the uh, appeal, the provincial appeal to the court to have a, um, I won't say undo the judge's decision, but have another uh, delay or wait uh, for a certain length of time would be one. Two is the government may say, well, you submitted your materials, but the rules have changed a bit, and we're concerned about two or three different things. So go back and redo those. Uh, and three, um, I would think the investors thought they were going to get in and, and get invested and have the oil flowing already, because uh, I looked at it, they expected the, that project to be operating by 2020. That didn't happen. And so I'm not sure about what the legal agreement is between the company and the investors. And I think that's something which is, which is going to come out one way or another. At the end of the day, uh, you know, the tech project's much bigger. Lots of other companies want larger expansion projects. So if the government says no, they're not really saying no to oil sands. They're just saying no to this project because you should be waiting in line with other people that are further down the track than you are at this time. So this one, the Prosper Petroleum Oil Sands Project, is really kind of an anomaly. It's, uh, if it gets even uh, denied, it's not going to send the wrong message to investors or to the industry. Yep, yeah, if, if it gets denied, it's not going to send the wrong message. In fact, is some of the other oil sands companies may be happy if that happens. Uh, on the other hand, if it's yes, uh, then, then, you, then this will be the new benchmark. We'll say, here's what they did. Here's what we're doing. We're better than that. Uh, so... I think all these things are under discussion, and I think every day it probably changes at the, at the provincial cabinet level. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what the courts say in this. That'll be interesting to see. Any final thoughts, Bob? Uh, yeah, well, I'll come back and do it in every week for the next uh, year, and we'll probably have a different answer.
Thank you very much for taking the time out of your busy day, and we look forward to chatting with you about this again in the future. Okay, you're welcome. Thanks, Bob.